son of a. So, uh, pretty much very simple engine derived from the uh, 350 small block. Uh, they took the small block Chevy, cut cylinders uh, one and six off, slapped the block together, and boom, that's how the 4.3 was born. Now, uh, this is a throttle body injected uh, 4.3. This is the L35 RPO code uh, 4.3, which is the 200 horsepower rated one and 260 pound feet of torque, uh, or foot pounds, I should say. Um, now, some things that I've come to really hate about this engine are uh, things like this idler bearing here so done a little research and uh over time if you ever come across the that gm wine uh apparently a lot of chevys get it um with this case it's not the alternator um chances are if you uh if you ever have uh the engine running you could take a screwdriver and uh, if you stick it right here on this bracket where the uh, the thread from the bearing goes into and you listen and if you can hear the whining or then you know it's the idler pulley uh, another thing is this bypass hose here. Uh, this one, it'll dry and crack, and then uh, a lot of times it'll clog. And like right here, it's got a kink. I need to fix that. I just did a timing, uh, timing chain, water pump, and timing cover. Um, now with that stuff, it was very simple. Um, you pull the front, you pull the timing cover off, uh, which was stupid because 97 and up, they took rid of uh, the steel, steel timing cover off, and then they threw a composite one on there, which you had to replace upon removal, according to GM. Um, there was there were uh, several TSBs for this engine because of uh, c people coming into the dealership and complaining that the engine's lacking power. Um, now that I believe was caused by um, this a distributor issue. I believe that's what it was. Um, now another thing that is commonly known to go wrong in these is if you have throttle body injected uh, from the years '98 to '04 you probably end up running a vacuum leak from this little o-ring that's underneath this uh this bonnet you take the wing nut off of here and you pop this up underneath here or inside of the bonnet if you take it off and you look inside there's an o-ring a lot of times on the heat cycles uh, depending on where you live and how hot the engine's running the the o-ring will actually shrink and it'll crack and you can end up running a vacuum leak from here. Now, another thing was the uh, distributor. Um, a lot of times, if you go to replace this distributor, uh, these ones, the the originals, they the the cap was very very sensitive to moisture. Uh, a lot of times, it would go bad just because of some spray from rain. You catch hit the back of the firewall, and uh, will run down underneath the firewall and inside there water gets inside the cap and it fries it out um, you go to replace the distributor you put it in and uh, if you bend the shim or you do anything and you mess up the shim that holds it um, it'll throw the p1345 code um, which is pretty much crankshaft camshaft correlation fault meaning hey the distributor is moving around and it's detecting it which is throwing that trouble code uh, p449 the trouble code Pretty much means, hey, on this engine, you gotta replace the EVAP solenoid. Uh, it just that's just the easiest way to get rid of it. You know, you can get that solenoid for less than twenty bucks, uh, depending on where you go. AC Delco definitely is the recommended re replacement brand for these. Um, now, when you replace it, it may throw four four six, which, accordingly, across multiple forums and uh, through several service manuals, four four six take the take a new gas cap. And put it on because uh, the old one uh, apparently with the s10 series pickups the uh, the gas cap goes bad clear the code. Um, now the next thing which is this is a plus here is the ignition coil the ignition coil there's only one so you don't have to worry about it like the 5.3 you got eight of them times that by you know, 40 bucks or so especially if you're going performance like msd you get msd or xl in this brand uh, AutoZone and Advance, they do carry this exact style, and they do have MSD and Excel. 
injectors were trash when they first came out because uh, if you had the uh, the multi port fuel injection, which is what this one is, um, I believe the central port fuel injection as well. The injectors that GM put in here, they were garbage. Um, a lot of times they they would break, they'd crack, and boom, that's it. You're getting gas everywhere. Um, or you use something as simple as getting bad gas, clogs an injector, boom. GM said, nope, we designed it to where you have to replace it. So that's more money in our pocket. So there, there, there you have it. Uh, you can get the Tamarex injectors. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend it just because if I'm going to do anything that's very vital to the engine and it's, you know, drivability, I definitely would go OEM. Um, AC Delco, you could pick it up for like 240 bucks or so, but that's, that's the updated, uh, injector injector system which is you know because these are spider injections um the poppets that go into each of the uh, the intake man uh intakes on the, the manifold they're removable so if one gets clogged you can take it off and place it with another um now another cool thing was on here the uh the thermostat the thermostats ran on top of the engine it's very simple to remove and replace if you ran into a problem intake manifold it you can swap them out with multiple you can you can even uh get brands like holly and jags and all that fancy stuff uh, so yeah that's pretty much uh that's pretty much all there is to these uh these 4.3s here now the uh come down to the uh the timing cover here down in the, the timing cover which sits behind the water pump uh if you replace it you know uh, just be careful to when you set it back in because the old pan gasket uh, half moon that goes right under the, the crank there's a, a little lip like I was saying uh, before there's a little lip that sits on the timing cover when you go to put the timing cover in that gasket som can sometimes get pushed in and throw the gasket off and then when you drive especially if you're going downhill oil starts spewing all over the front of the block um, the easiest way to do that is on each side of the oil pan. There's three bolts. Uh, I believe they're 13 millimeter bolts. You just unbolt those first three accordingly, and you can move the pan down a little bit, slide the timing cover on, and bolt the pan right back up. Um, now, uh, intakes. Intakes with these. Um, the cool things were if you had the Vortec one, they made special Vortec intakes for these uh, 4.3 engines. Uh, headers, yeah, you can get headers. Um, they have JBA headers. They got long tube headers for this engine. They got, you know, because pretty much if you if you go back to looking at the 4.3's history, there was the 4.3 which was turbo in the uh, GMC Cyclone and the GMC Typhoon. Um, so yeah, you could definitely run headers. That's a pretty neat unique feature about these. Um, you know, things like common things that are known to go bad. AC compressor, alternator, right on top of the engine. You don't have to open the hood and dig way down inside the engine and be like, hey, where the heck's the alternator? So um, that's, that was a unique feature with this. Um, they still use this engine to this day. It's not manufactured by GM anymore. They discontinued it as of 2014. Uh, it's actually manufactured with a different displacement rating. And uh, it is a marine application built by Merc Cruiser. They uh, pretty much bought the, the blueprints and rights to this engine. and did a little tweaking with it, increased the displacement to 4.5, and now you can find a lot of boat motors. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's all I can say. I've, I've driven this engine for about 10,000 miles now. I just picked this truck up a little while ago. It's a 2002 uh, S10 ZR2 with the uh, the wide stance. And hey, this engine, it's, you know, maintenance-wise, been a pain. Because uh, I've had to change everything on it. You know, trucks had 14 owners, so you kind of, you kind of get a little sense of uh, just pure abuse on this engine. Um, now these engines are known to go three or four hundred thousand if you really take care of them, keep up on the oil changes and all that fancy jazz. Um, you know, like they say, if you take care of the engine, it'll take care of you. That's certainly true with these. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, everything with these. Um, if you guys have any comments and questions, please leave them in the description, or not the description, the, uh, the comment section below. Try to keep the comment section clean, and uh, so that it's educational for everybody. And uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe for more content. I'll be having some more videos and trying to get back into up regular uploads. Um, 
and uh, I'll be going over a lot more stuff with the uh, the 4.3 and uh, some real technical stuff with just the S10 uh, S series pickups.